Hello, I am Tutor Ricky's teaching partner. My name is Suzuki. I will be explaining the content of this video to you. This video covers business and company law. I will share information on this topic using an example from a previous exam question that is part of the Hong Kong Institute of Certified Public Accountants Qualification Programme Module 10, Business and Company Law. It delves into sections of Companies Ordinance, Chapter 6 2, 2, to statutory derivative action. This video continues from the previous one, addressing the same question by analysing and answering them using the company's ordinance. First, let's review the question requirements, and then we'll examine the question itself. Let's begin discussing the topic now. Required. In relation to company law, analyse what action for FCL against Betty and Catherine would be available to Amy as a minority shareholder under the company's ordinance, Cap 622. Question. Friendship Company Limited, FCL, is a private company incorporated in Hong Kong. It was formed by three good friends, Amy, Betty and Catherine. FCL adopted the model articles for private companies limited by shares as its articles. It was agreed that Betty and Catherine would work full-time and manage the daily operations of FCL, while Amy would only contribute capital to FCL. Betty and Catherine are the two directors of FCL, and each owns 2,000 issued shares in FCL. Amy only owns 1,000 issued shares in FCL. Recently, Amy discovered that FCL had entered into a transaction in which Betty's and Catherine's families might have interests. As a result, Amy, Betty and Catherine had been in a serious dispute. Amy, as a minority shareholder of FCL, is concerned that the above transaction had not been entered into for the benefit of FCL and would like to bring an action against Betty and Catherine on behalf of FCL in order to stop the above transaction. However, Amy has been advised that she is not allowed to sue on behalf of FCL and that only in very exceptional circumstances may she take action for FCL under company law. In this question, the requirement pertains to companies' ordinance related to statutory derivative actions. The answer should include relevant cases that relate to the question. Let's break down the situation for a clearer understanding. Background Friendship Company Limited, FCL, is a private company in Hong Kong. Formed by three friends, Amy, Betty and Catherine. FCL adopted the model articles for private companies limited by shares. Betty and Catherine manage daily operations and each owns 2,000 shares. Amy contributed capital and owns 1,000 shares. Key facts 1. Amy discovered a transaction involving Betty's and Catherine's families. 2. This transaction led to a serious dispute among the friends. 3. Amy is concerned the transaction was not in FCL's best interest. Actions 1. Amy, as a minority shareholder, wants to take legal action against Betty and Catherine on behalf of FCL. 2. She has been advised that she can only do so under very exceptional circumstances according to company law. In summary, FCL, a private Hong Kong company, faces a dispute as minority shareholder. Amy discovers a potentially self-interested transaction by directors Betty and Catherine. Amy seeks legal action on behalf of FCL, but can only proceed under exceptional circumstances. After identifying and analysing the question and requirement, we now start the answer to the question. Answer. The question required candidates to discuss the statutory derivative action under Section 732. Please note that unless otherwise stated, the reference to the below provisions is made to the company's ordinance, Cap 622. Section 732.1 provides that if misconduct is committed against a company, a member of the company or of an associated company of the company may, with the leave of court granted under Section 733, bring proceedings in respect of the misconduct before the court on behalf or for its benefit. Misconduct is defined by Section 731 and means fraud, negligence, breach of duty or default in compliance with any ordinance or rule of law. Section 733. 1. 
provides that on application by a member to a company's or an associated company of a company, the court may grant leave for the purpose of this section if it satisfies that. I. On the face of the application, it appears to be in the company's interest that leave be granted to the member. Chai. In the case of I, there is a serious question to be tried, and the company has not itself brought the proceeding. Section 733, 3 and 4 provides that the written notice must be served on the company's registered office at least 14 days before the member applies for leave, and notice must state his her intention to apply to the court for leave to bring or intervene in proceedings and the reason for this intention. In Ferrari Section P, a VF and S Express LTD, 2005, the court explained that a leave is granted if an arguable case be shown to subsist, and the applicant has the same relatively low threshold as per an application for an interlocutory injunction. The court will not normally enter into the merits of the proposed derivative action to any great degree. In Li Chung Sing Tong Holdings Le Intented, 2017, the court took the view that where there is a serious issue to be tried, it is very likely that it would be in the prima facie interests of the company to bring the proposed legal action. As far as the statutory derivative action is concerned, the shareholder's ratification is not an absolute bar, but may be a relevant consideration for the leave application under Section 734. No settlement can be made in respect of the proceedings brought by Section 732 without the leave of the court under Section 735. If both common law and statutory derivative actions are taken, the court may dismiss the common law derivative action under Section 736. The court has wide discretion to award various remedies and costs under Section 737 and 738 respectively. In this case, as Betty and Catherine are the directors of Friendship Company Limited, FCL, Amy may serve a written notice on FCL and obtain a leave from court to take a statutory derivative action under Section 732 if Amy can prove that the action is in the interests of FCL and that there was misconduct and a serious question to be tried. Here is a summary of the key points related to statutory derivative action under company's ordinance for the answer. The statutory derivative action under Section 732 of the company's ordinance, Cap 622, allows a company member to bring proceedings for misconduct, fraud, negligence, breach of duty, with court leave under Section 733. The court grants leave if it benefits the company and there is a serious question to be tried. Written notice must be served 14 days prior. In Ferrari, SPAVF and S Express, Leltied, 2005, the court required an arguable case. In Lee Chung Sing Tong Holdings Listy 2017, a serious issue to be tried was necessary. Shareholders' ratification is not an absolute bar, but relevant under Section 734. Settlements need court leave under Section 735. The court can dismiss common law actions and award remedies under Sections 736 to 738. Amy can take action against FCL if misconduct is proven. The video has now ended. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye.